an end road. Follow the road. It will lead you somewhere. So don't give up. Who is laughing at you? Your waiting time is not your wasting time. Tell them. Don't ever forget this. If you are not born again, you will suffer again. But if you are born again, get ready to pain again. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 and 28. And God said, let us make man in our own image and after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowls of the air, over the cattle, over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Good. Verse 28. Verse 28. And God bless them. Somebody say, God has blessed me. Alright. Now let us check the manifestation of the blessing. And God blessed them and said to them, be fruitful. Be what? Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowls of the air, over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Help me turn to your neighbor, say be fruitful. be fruitful. Turn to somebody again, say be fruitful. Be fruitful. Ladies and gentlemen, when we are talking about being fruitful, I think it does not need much explanation I think that word, in a way, you can break it down that we can understand. It means that to be full of fruits, praise God. The word fruit, full, full fruits, full of fruits. So God's original intention for us is to be full of fruits, for us to have fruits. Because when he said God bless them, nobody can see the blessing. They can only see the manifestation of what? Talk to me now. They can see what? Even if they call you brother blessing, sister blessing, eh? they can call you sister blessing, brother blessing, and there is no evidence of fruit. So what makes us to know that you are blessed, whether they call you blessing or not, is when we see what? The fruit, the fruit of your blessed, being blessed. So when we are looking at the fruit now, what are the kind of fruit that God expects us so that men can see the blessing? So I realize there are different kinds of fruits. One of it is fruit of the womb. But in the fruit of the womb, that is where Africans major on. In Africa, we majored on it. In India, we majored on it. The fruit of the womb. Produce and produce and produce. Then instead of going up, the thing we produce is now weighing us down. So, if it's just the fruit of the womb that God is talking about, then you cannot have dominion. Because why? Anima, they don't have dominion, and yet they are very fruitful in terms of giving birth. For instance, when a rat is giving birth, I hope you know it does not give birth to one. As small as rat is, rat can multiply the thing down. I, I hope you also know about fly with maggots. You know fly. Uh, when fly wants to hash, I mean to... To lay eggs, you know what happened? It gives like that. So you see, to be fruitful, if fly could do it, if rats could do it, if my dog at home that gave birth to 12 or 10 at a time. So you realize that the fruitfulness that God is talking about is not just the fruit of the womb. It's not just the fruit of the womb. So one of it, I'm going to just make a quick recap of what I've taught. One of the major areas that God expects to be fruitful is in your thoughts. Somebody say my thoughts. Oh, I can't hear you. Somebody say my thoughts. Your thoughts, the way you think, is where God wants you to be fruitful. In your thought life, Jeremiah 6 verse 19. He said, hear, O earth, and behold, and I will bring evil upon these people, even the fruit of their thoughts. Even the fruit of their thoughts. So God expect our thought to be right. Now listen to me. If the fruit of our thought will be right, things will be right. God is not just saying, go and produce children, be fruitful. No, because anima also was given that right. So for us to have dominion that anima don't have, that means he's not talking about fruit of the womb. He's talking about the way we think. Somebody say thinking. Your thought life, your thought life now. Then we, we from there, we now look at the fruit of the land. The fruit of the land that you will find in Numbers 13, 20, when they went to bring the fruit of the land. And I said that if the, if the thought's life is not also right, the fruit of the land will be affected. In the fruit of the land, there's a season in Nigeria 
I don't know about which, you know what I'm talking about. You will see a particular type of food. It's everywhere. By the time you get to another season, you don't see that food. It becomes very scarce. For instance, pear. For instance, corn. For instance, tomatoes. These perishable things. You realize that there's a season. These things will be everywhere. Not to talk of cherry. Praise God. You see cherry everywhere. Then it gets to another season. You don't see cherry. You don't see mango. You don't see tomatoes. You can barely count how many seeds of tomatoes that you buy. Do you know why? Because man's thoughts, Africans, we have not been able to sit down to think of what I call storage facility. Something that can preserve it to enter next season. Are you all hearing what I'm saying here? And that can only happen with the fruit of our thoughts. That can only happen when we begin to think right. Then we can have the fruit of the land productively. And I said again, in the fruit of the land, if you check Africa here, you realize, throw anything down, the thing germinates. The thing, so Africa, ordinarily, ought to be feeding the whole world. Because we don't need anything to boost our soil. And yet, it's like Africa is the largest importer of food. Something is wrong because of the fruit of our thoughts. Are you still here today? So the fruit of our thoughts. Then I look at Number three, I call it the fruit of our mouth. In Numbers 18, 25, the fruit of our mouth. Now, your mouth is not basically to eat alone. Your mouth is not basically to do the things you think you are doing alone. Your mouth is to create your destiny. That's why you keep hearing, if you shall say to this mountain, be thou move, it shall move. So, your mouth should create how do I know? Genesis chapter 1 when the Bible says God created the heaven and the earth and the Bible says and there was darkness. If you want, God used the fruit of the lips or the fruit of the mouth to bring what? Light. Come on, talk to me. To bring what? To bring what? He said let there be light. He didn't use the fruit of the thoughts now. He used the fruit of the mouth. The fruit of the lips. Let there be light. Let there be light. And immediately the Bible said there was light. So the fruit of the lips, the fruit of our mouth, your mouth. Somebody say my mouth. I didn't hear you say it again. Say my mouth. So the fruit of the mouth, what is coming out of your mouth? What are you using your mouth to produce? The fruit of the mouth, what do you use it to do? Many rather use it to gossip. Many rather use it to crucify people. But the fruit of the mouth, once it's fruitful, every other thing becomes fruitful. If you are here today, shout, I hear you. All right. So the fruit of the mouth, then we now look at the fruit of the hand, which I have dealt with also. That is, you will find that in Proverbs 30, precisely verse 31. It says, give her of the fruit of her hand and let her own work be praised in the gate. It means the fruit of the hand. If the fruit of the thought is still okay, it will also affect the fruit of the hand. That means we must look for something to do with our hand in order to have dominion. Are you all hearing me now? Our hands should not be to beg. Our hands should not be, give me, give me, give me. Look for something to produce. There are still many things that have not been invented. The fruit of the hand. What are we doing with our hands? For dominion to be in place, it means the fruit of the hand must be right. Are you all with me here today? The fruit of the hand. Think of what to do with your hand. What to produce with your hand. How to manifest things with your hand. And that is what makes it better. Look at today. Africa, for instance, we cannot manage those beings. You cannot manage things. Look at our sewage. In fact, sometimes you drive through streets of some places in Africa, you can almost feel those beings, human beings living close to those beings. Do you know why? Because the fruit of the thought has not been well harnessed. Let me tell you, in that those beings, that, that those beings you are looking at, there is wet inside Somebody can think of the dustbin and make money out of that dustbin and use dustbin to produce something that somebody will end up benefiting from. Are you all hearing what I'm saying? For instance, I heard at the time that you can produce gas from dustbin. It's somebody that is thinking like that, that dustbin that you put down, they can make gas out of it and you're cooking gas. That means there's so much that man has not used this the fruit of his thoughts. But rather, we use it to keep grudge. We use it to gossip. We use it to say things that should not and store unnecessary things. This offended me. That offended me. Then I look at another one, which I call the fruit of the spirit. 
I'm looking at different kinds of fruit where God wants it to be fruitful. The fruit of what? Say it, everybody. Say it better. The fruit of the Spirit, which you will find in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 and 23. Say, but the fruit of the Spirit is love. Note it. Joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, and faith. Go to 23. Meekness, temperance. Uh-huh. Against such, there is no law. So, what is the fruit of the spirit we are talking about now is your character. Somebody say character. You have to have a godly character. A character that people can depend on. A character that people can see. You are consistent. You say I am coming, you come. You say I am going, and you go. A character that people can look and say yes, this is a child of God. That's the fruitfulness we are talking about. Not the character of oh, somebody gives you money. And say, hold it for me. You change your address immediately. Immediately you change your address. Immediately you say, keep this money for me. That is the end of it. That is not a godly character. Or someone gives you money for business. You know you want to go into business. And they give you money for business. Instead of doing the business, you use it to go and buy clothes. That is not the kind of character we are talking about. So the fruit of the spirit has to be seen in us. People have to be able to see and know that there is a God we serve. Oh, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. So the area of fruitfulness, please don't just think of that is the fruit of the womb. So every time you begin to say, God say I should be fruitful. Fruitful, you produce one, produce two, produce three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Before you know it, the thing you produce is now dominating you. Why? When it's time to feed, to when it's time to pay school fees, you are catching malaria. And when it's time to take care of the needs at home, you are realize you are now depressed. Why? Because of the fruit that you have produced. So I want you to understand when we are saying proof, fruitfulness is not just in childbirth. If you give birth to one or two, it's enough. Am I talking to somebody here? One or two is enough. I don't care how you name children. How many have faith? Owo labi. Eh, na money we born. Not be money you born. Na picking you born. In fact, sometimes na suffering. Praise God. Ori owo. Omo bori owo. And whatever you call, if you call, you call or lay fat, let them call you omo bori owo. There will not be owo. So don't don't think that is the name. I don't think it's the name. So, I, 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 then, because that's Africa. Africa will just say, well, when we give birth to so many children, uh, I have words. It's not true. You are depressed. You are depressed. What is it that makes, uh, if you watch, Americans today, they are calling us to come over for visa lottery because they lack population. They lack population. So, they know that we know how to produce children. They know how to produce money. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying here. So they are giving you free visa to come and eat burger. They say, come over. What, how many that don't produce? Bring some, come. And they will not take junk. They make sure they check that you get something off head. Praise God. They interview you and make sure you are a professional. If you say you are not doing anything, they will never bring you to the place. And you are hearing what I'm saying here. So we, we've got to check this area. So don't, don't just major on child beds. Or you are a young girl, or if you just finished school, or you are thinking is to marry, or you are thinking is to marry. I want to quickly give birth. Who is pursuing you? Where are you running to? Where are you run? Who have you trained in school? Who have you taken care of? There are siblings that are coming up. Many are very selfish, very just thinking of only themselves. Praise the Lord. If you are hearing me, shout, I hear you. Wow, every Tuesday, I also want you to join me. I have this prayer conference I call Pulling Down Your Walls of Jericho. You know why? There is one war or the other that says you can't enter your promised land. So whatever is the Jericho in your business, Jericho in your marriage, Jericho in your academics, Jericho in your profession, set to pull it down again every Tuesday. 6.30 very early in the morning to 7.45 to your season. I bless you today in Jesus' name. Amen. of what we are talking about. What I'm letting you know is that mad people give birth in dustbin, don't they? They don't have dominion. 
Animals give birth, don't they? They don't have dominion. Dog give birth, don't they? I gave example now. Say I just brought a new dog to my house. When they brought this dog and gave to me, this dog will not allow me to come closer. Very big dog. Began to chase me, the owner of the house. So what did I do? I told the person that brought said, me tire. I let hunger wood and where where. By the time he was hungry, then I now brought some bowl. I gave him, then I went close. I touched his head. And I said, my master, thank you. Thank you, sir. You don't keep me for hunger. Oh. Now you be my new master. I celebrate you. If you make you not celebrate me, you go die for hunger. Do you know I am meant to have dominion? And the way you can have dominion is what I'm saying. You are animal. You know why the animal had to submit to me? Because he now know that without submitting to me, he will die of hunger. Because his destiny is tied to me. And that's the truth. I have the choker cola I hold. If I want it to die, it will die. So animal naturally is like that. Because they, can, they don't have thought life. They cannot think. They don't have mind. So your mind is not to just zip your trousers and produce children. To zip up your trousers, my friend. Lock your wife inside. Every, every six months, they produce children. Six months. Some men have no work. All they do is their wife. The worst men to marry are jobless men. Ladies, if you see a jobless man, don't mind, he go kill you. Oh my God. How cool. If he tie you down, you're not going anywhere. You will run out. Jobless, jobless man. Job, when he said be fruitful, children is just a fraction. The fruitfulness is not just to produce. It's your mind. How are you thinking? Your hand, fruit of your hand. Everybody call it number one is what? Fruit of the womb, a fraction. A fraction. Uh -huh. Fruit of fruit of the mind. Uh -huh. That's your thoughts. Uh -huh. Fruit of your lips, your mouth. Fruit of your mouth. Uh -huh. Fruit of the land. Uh -huh. Fruit of the hand. Uh -huh. Fruit of the spirits. Major on these things. Your character. Which fruits? Which fruits? So you get back every year in a baby dedication. Every year, baby dedication. Every year, they build a kilo day, kilo day. How many houses you don't build? How many places you don't? So now, just that one be your own fruitfulness. Uh -uh. Who do you like this? Come on, go for family planning. Talk to your neighbor, say, go family planning. Go and plan your family. Go and plan. If you don't have plan, then you are planning to fail. Go and plan. Don't, don't, don't come here all the time. Every time. I don't carry again. Wait in. Who do you like this? When God said be fruitful. Not only you. Praise God. So there are areas you must be fruitful. That's what I'm talking about. Make yourself available. You will enjoy the fruit in Jesus name. Oh I thought I would hear a better amen. amen. Let me explain why you should be fruitful. Listen to me so that I will go deeper in this topic. How many of you know that Jesus caused a tree that was not fruitful? Am I preaching now? Jesus caused a tree that was not fruitful. In Matthew 21, 18 to 19, he caused a tree. He saw this tree standing on the way. It's standing on the way, but it has no fruit. Jesus was looking for fruit. He was hungry. I am looking for fruit to eat. There was no single fruit in that tree. What did he do? He caused the tree. So I want you to understand that if you are not fruitful, God is causing you. God hates people who are not fruitful. Productive. Let somebody feel that you are alive. Fruitfulness is what I'm talking about. You notice Jesus said, the Bible said, and this tree was standing on the way, and Jesus cursed the tree. Ha, listen to me. I want to go, go a bit deeper again. I, I, I also noticed something when I was studying. I realized that the parable of the talents. Am I right? The parable of the talents in Matthew 25 down. The Bible says he met one and gave five. Am I right? He gave another one two. And he gave another one one. The one then later. That was the type of typology of God now. The one that he gave five. He came back later and he met him. He said, what have you done with the, what the one became fruitful? He has gotten extra five, making, making ten. Am I right? Making how many? Making ten. Then he now went to the one that has 
How many? That has two. He said, give account. And that one too has made profit now. And made how many now? Four. He has made extra two. Making what? And he said to them, be, he said, he said uh, well done, that faithful servant. Be in charge of so-so and so cities. He now put them in charge. Then he now went to the one that had one. He said, how many have you made? He said, <laughs> master, uh, when you leave, I fear that you are a very wicked man. So I carry the thing you gave me. I bury him for ground. In fact, let me bring it. <laughs> See, this is what you gave me. And he looked at him. He said, that wicked servant. The Bible says he took it from him. Note my word where I'm going now. Because we all know that scripture, but there's something I saw there. He took it from him and gave it to the one that has ten. The one that is more fruitful. That person will now have eleven. But if care is not taken, the system of this world, poor people go right rebel against God. Say, God, wait sin. How you go give person when he gets? You know they see poor person. Why did God not take it and give to a poor person who not gets? Who did he give it to? He gave it to the person that had 10. To have 11. So you can see the system of the world. The, whether you like it or not, if you are fruitful, you will be more fruitful. Go, you enjoy more help. Oh, I don't know if you are hearing what I'm saying now. Now, the system of the world would have rioted against God. Therefore, carry placard. We not go agree, oh, we not go agree. We not go agree. Say, what you have to say? Baba God, we want to ask you. How come you not get room for the poor? Now, when you took that one talent from that man, why did you not give it to the person that have none? Why you can't give who get ten already? Ladies and gentlemen, that is the system of heaven. Once you are productive, God gives you more grace. Once you are using what God puts in you, he gives you more grace. If you are dumb at God, abandon you, he takes it and gives it to another. Are you all hearing what I'm saying here? So you see, the system of heaven does not say, give it to the poor or give it to the lesser person. He didn't even give it to the person that has two. Who did he give it to? To the person that has 10. That's why you always hear the rich get and the poor get. I pray for you today. You will live poor level. You will never be poor. Your children will never be poor. You will not taste poverty. You will not eat poverty. You will not sleep with poverty. If there is poverty around you, you are escaping it. I say you are coming out. Lift up your right hand shout, I am coming out. Give you the last one. This one is called, I call the fruit of thy seed. The fruit of your seed. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 9. Deuteronomy 22, verse 9. He said, Thou shalt not sow thy vine with diverse what? Seeds. Let the fruit of thy seed which thou hast sown. And the fruit of thy vineyard be defied. Ladies and gentlemen, there is also what you call fruit of your seed. That means if you have a seed, inside your seed will be your fruit. Listen to me. You don't eat seed, you eat fruit. That means with your thought life, you must get ready to put down seed. For the seed to bring out fruit. Are you all listening now? God gives seed to the sower. He gives bread to the eater. Because if he gives seed to the eater, the eater will eat the seed. And there will be no more bread. So that is why God differentiates it. Are you hearing me now? The reason why there is scarcity, you hear austerity measure, or you hear famine, is because when the seed is in the wrong hand, when the seed is in the wrong hand. Ladies and gentlemen, African seed has entered so many wrong hands. The reason why African nations are where we are, God has given us seed. He has given us seed in time past by giving us crude oil and all, but it's in the wrong hands. If the seed was well harnessed and well planted, by now no African will suffer. Are you all hearing what I'm saying here? He gives seed to the sower and he gives bread to the eater. So you make up your mind to tell yourself who you want to be. Whether you want to be a bread eater or you want to be a seed sower. Because once you are a seed sower, it means that there is going to be enough fruit, enough bread inside your seed. Oh, are you all hearing me now? 
He gave seed to the sower and he gave uh, bread to the eater. God will never, never make that mistake of carrying seed and giving it to the eater. So the fruit of thy seed, that means in your seed, every seed you have, remember there is fruit inside. Every seed that you have, there is fruit inside. Every seed you have, there is fruit inside. But the fruit will never manifest until the seed is first planted. You can't manifest, you can't carry the seed and say, okay, let me bring that fruit out of this seed. It's not possible. It is when you sow it. As you sow it, you begin to enjoy it. Stand up on your feet. Wow, I know you've been richly blessed by this message you have heard. Now, I want you to take quality decision this year to serve him better. So now, this is what you do. In case you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, I want you to say with me, say, Jesus, I come to you today. I am a sinner. Have mercy on me. From now onward, I choose to serve you all the days of my life. Thank you, Lord, for accepting me. And if you have said that prayer, I welcome you to the family and I can now declare that you are born again and I command all things to pass away. I bless you with favor. It is well with you when you go out. It is well when you come in. Arise and shine in Jesus' name. Amen. You are, I said go and stop this activity. Now, go! 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 I, Mr. Clinton, I decree today any arrow sent against me, go back to sender now in the name of Jesus. Ah, you are ready to come back. Ah, ah. Do you want to be a terror to your troubles in life? Order your copy of Power for Daily Living, a daily devotional for champions by Reverend Ben Arabi, the Jesus soldier, plus a comprehensive Bible reading plan for one year and daily mountain moving prayers at Divine Appointment Ministry International, 17 Oyewale Street off Shillon Street off Ikorodu Road, Tam Group Bus Stop, Lukaju, Lagos, Bible Wonderland, Sue Larry, or any leading Christian bookshop or vendors around you. Order your copy now and experience the power to triumph over the troubles of life daily. Distributors are also welcome. Now, I want you to take time out and fellowship with us. Every Sunday, I do five services. Five services on Sunday. You can't miss the location of the church, especially when you are in the Lukbeju area in a bank group. We are at uh, number 17 Oye Wale Street. Number 17 Oye Wale Street. We are coming in from the area in the Pangro sector. I want you to join us here every Sunday. The first service is 6.30, second service is 8 o'clock, third service is 9.30. I want you to just find time and join me. I do five services. It's awesome. There's no dull moment. Listen to me. You can only be healed here in Divine Appointment Ministry International. God is waiting to give you an appointment for greatness. So join me this Sunday. You are blessed. You are favored. In Jesus' name. Amen. Christ in me is the hope of my glory. You want Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior? Run to this place. One.